Suffolk City School Board members say cross-dressing is a safety issue and a distraction in their schools, and now some want to ban it. A research committee said at last night's meeting that they want to prohibit, quote, clothing that does not keep with the student's gender. Tenure size Liz Palpa joins us now with what the school board plans on doing and those opposing it. Liz? Don, the school board hasn't voted on the ban yet, but most are standing behind it. However, the opposition is trying to convince the board to change their mind. The American Civil Liberties Union sent the school board a letter before the meeting. It said their policy is unconstitutionally vague. The ACLU also said the ban would violate Title IX, that schools cannot discriminate on the basis of sex. A transgender person also spoke to the school board against the policy change. Julie Long recalled how difficult it was in school because she had short hair and didn't wear makeup. Here's what Long had to say about banning cross-dressing. Because kids aren't stupid. When they see this policy, they'll say, aha, these kids. It's okay for us to target these kids. You're painting a target on their backs. The answer to school bullying can never be to punish the victims. It has to be through addressing those who bully. Vice Chairwoman Thelma Hinton was one of the first school board members to bring up cross-dressing in Suffolk schools. She said she's solely concerned about the safety of students, saying a student who cross-dressed at a Suffolk high school recently was being threatened. And last night was the first discussion of the possible policy change. A city attorney is now looking into the legality of the dress code. In the newsroom, Liz Palka, 10 on your side.